Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a drop down list using data validation in Excel. For example, choose a continent. For example, choose a country. Yeah, so there's a simple bit of data validation going on there in these couple of um, cells, cells C2 and C4, but there's no kind of connection, as it were, between the two. So uh, the drop-down list in cell C4 is not dependent upon the selection made in cell C2. And that's where I'd like to take this whole data validation idea just a little bit, in fact, uh, quite a bit further uh, than normal, simple data validation. It's a neat tool, neat bit of functionality. So, for example, here um, I choose a continent. So, for example, I'll select Europe. I'll choose a country within Europe, for example, and I got a little bit of added value here because, well, I've also used, as we can see if I just F2 on that, I've used an index and match nesting combination there uh, to determine the capital of Germany, for example. So drop down, select Asia, drop down, select Thailand, and Bangkok is the capital of Thailand. Yeah, so we'll learn a little bit about capital cities as well. Okay. How does that all work? Well, let me go across to my uh, dependent drop-downs demo sheet that I've set up here. So cell C2, a simple bit of data validation. So I'm already on the data tab. If I was home or of course anywhere else, I would click the data tab. The data validation button in the data tools group, I'll just click directly on it. There's the data validation dialog box. I'm going to change the allow to a list. I'm going to click into the source box. This is where I'm going to press my F3 function key because I've already set up a series of named ranges that I'm going to be using in this particular demo, one of which is continents. I'll just double click on continents. Click OK, drop down, select Europe. Now the country list has to be dependent upon the continent chosen. So this is where it gets to be a little bit more complex again. Now this actually uses various other named ranges that I will just quickly illustrate. Let me just press my F5 function key go to. I actually do have a named range called Europe. Check out my name box in the top left corner there. Now the name of that particular range matches exactly the piece of text here and that is really all important. Okay, how does it work? Well, cell C4, clicked and selected, click data validation. It is going to be a list once again, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, and you have to kind of type it in manually here, I'm going to use the indirect function to indirectly refer to whatever's in cell C2 at the moment. Close up my brackets, click OK, cities within Europe. Drop down, click and select Africa, cities within Africa, for example. It will not work, at least at the moment, well, I've got to add a little bit of extra functionality here, which I'll show you very, very shortly. It won't work with these two continents, because there are spaces in the captions and the labels that I've chosen to use in the list itself. Check it out no list of countries within North America. Check it out. No list of countries within South America. The space is the problem. If I just F5, have a look at my named ranges once again. You see North America and South America. Check out my name box once again. Have underscores between the two words. Think about it. Of course you're not allowed to actually have um, spaces in named ranges. Okay, let me just go back. How do we get around that problem? Well, I'm going to do a little bit more work with the data validation on cell C4. Go back into it. And I kind of pretend almost that there is an underscore between South and America in cell C2. So I'm going to use the substitute function. And I'm going to use the substitute function to substitute in cell C2. You have to click. You can't arrow key around, unfortunately. Comma, space enclosed in quotes, so quote space quote, comma, quote, underscore, quote, close off my brackets. Basically what that is saying is substitute the space in cell C2 with an underscore so it matches the named range that I've previously set up. Click OK. Drop down, select North America. Drop down, select Canada. Now it all works perfectly, not just for the one name labels, 
but also with the two word in the name labels just have a look at that again what I'll actually also do guys as well let me just tab down into it control C to copy I'll use a blank cell here so we can see it and let me just go back to the home tab increase the font size make it red make it bold and that's the data validation that's the source effectively for the data validation of cell C4 yeah a list that's the data validation the list and that's the source for the data validation in cell C4 what about the capital okay it's going to be a combination of index and match uh, I've looked at indexing and matching in some detail on pr a previous video of mine um, so I'm not going to go into it in too much detail index what's my array I've got this country capital array again a named range underscore between country and capital comma what's my row number going to be well my no row, row number is going to be to match the country value comma against a whole list of country values that I do have comma zero for an exact match close off my brackets comma which column within the array or the range well my capital cities are in the second column so two close off my brackets press return or enter and see it again demonstrate it from the top I'll select Asia I'll select Malaysia and KL Kuala Lumpur is the capital of Malaysia drop down select Europe drop down select Italy and of course wrong so it's a nice kind of combination of things there guys a simple bit of data validation for the continent quite a bit more complex for the country and a little bit of indexing and matching going on there to determine the capital of that particular country in that particular continent okay that's it from me guys that's it from me Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer um, do take care check out my various other videos to look at for example indexing and matching and lookups um, in Excel go into those things in quite a bit more detail in various other videos so search optimum technology transfer on youtube.com as I say that's it me, from me Mark Davis at optimum technology transfer do come back do check out my other videos take care and bye bye